To test auto blocking of high volume notifications, we have to make sure that our system is running version 39 or later. And these two rules right here are enabled auto blocking of high volume notification rules and enable system notification management. This feature right here will allow to define a threshold for our high volume notifications, as well as to review the rules that are considered to be high volume. And this feature right here will automatically block notifications for high volume rules. First, let's navigate to our sysadmin module, set up system parameters, go to system notifications. And in here, that's where I define a threshold. I'm basically saying that any rule, and by rule, I mean either a user created alert that can be change based alert or date driven alert or a batch process. So any of those things that generate 10 notifications or more per hour would be considered a high volume alert or process. The options that we have here is that we can define either a specific period, one hour, six hours, one day, one week, etc., or no threshold period at all. That means if 10 notifications generated by that alert or by that periodic job, that will be considered a high volume rule. Then I decided to test with change-based alerts. I picked a random form, in this case I used line of business, and I created an alert. Click on options, manage my alerts, and here's the alert that I have created. Basically, anytime a description of line of business changes, I will be generating an alert. And then I start changing the description. And then I had to wait for 20 or 30 minutes for the system to execute the check, evaluate alerts. And because I have generated 30 or so alerts within a short period of time, this alert was considered a high volume. So where would I see my high volume rules? We will go navigate to system administrator. And in here we have the tile high volume notifications. Let's click on that. And we see that we have a rule 413. And remember, 413 is my change-based alert. Here's a user for which that rule was created. I see that the threshold of 10 has been reached at least once. So threshold exceeded count overall one, and threshold exceeding count over the last month is also one. And you can see that the blocked checkbox is checked. So that means that this rule will no longer generate any notifications. I also received a notification in my action center right here. You see it on the top where it says that we have detected a large volume of notifications being sent to you and have disabled creation of new notification from offending processes. So from here, a system administrator can do several things. They can go and unblock the rule. That means the generation of notifications will resume. They can also reset the threshold. So basically setting our threshold back to zero. So the system will reevaluate it next time again. And then we can clear notifications. So all those notifications that users get in their action center can be cleared from right here. What I noticed though, is that even though this rule is blocked, we can clearly see that rule 413 has this blocked checkbox set to yes. If I go back to my rule right here, I still see it as enabled. So the alert itself is enabled, but the notifications are disabled. So this rule will not generate any notifications. Overall, I think it's a great feature. It allows us not only see the alerts or processes that generate high volume of notifications, but also proactively, systematically block those notifications so they stop, allowing us to then review and then decide what to do with each of those processes on a case-by-case basis. That is all I wanted to show to you today. Hope you found this video useful. Until the next time, take care.